I hope you're all well. So today I thought we would look at fonts and how you install fonts onto your computer or your laptop so that you can then use them in Design Space. There are lots of free font resources out there. Sites like Defont are amazing. They're full of so many different fonts. The only thing is, if you are going to sell your products, then you need fonts that are commercially licensed. So you need to make sure that you're actually reading uh, the terms and conditions of the font you are getting. And most free fonts are not commercially licensed. There will always be exceptions to that rule, but do always check. There are some great sites out there that also offer commercially licensed fonts. I have two that I use all the time. The first is Creative Fabrica. Now I love Creative Fabrica. It is a huge site. There are thousands upon thousands of fonts, JPEGs, SVGs, PNGs, absolutely worth five minutes of your time to go and have a look. These are just some of the fonts available on Creative Fabrica. Now, the one thing I will say about Creative Fabrica is it can be very, very expensive. The fonts and the images can range from the dollar all the way through to over $20 each. That's a huge investment for a font. However, they do have a subscription service. I myself am a member of the subscription service and I definitely think it's worthwhile, especially if you need to purchase commercially licensed fonts and images. Now they have four types of subscription. There's fonts, crafts, graphics, and all access. Now I'm a member of all access. It's $29 a month, which seems really, really costly. However, that means you can download everything and anything on the Creative Fabrica site. So any fonts, as many as you like, any uh, design, so JPEG, SVG, PNG, as many as you like. It is unlimited access, which I think is just amazing. As I say, some of the fonts can be 10, 15, $20. You may only need to purchase three or four fonts and you've already saved yourself money against your subscription. The other thing is they actually have a sale on at the moment for their all access subscription. So instead of $29 a month, it's $19 a month. And that's not just for your first month, that's for your entire duration of being subscribed. So whether it be six months or six years, you will only pay $19 a month. They've got 275 left. If you are thinking about subscribing to Creative Fabrica, I would definitely advise doing it now because $19 a month is a huge saving over six months or six years. The other site I absolutely love is Font Bundles. Font Bundles has a sister site as well, which is Design Bundles. They do what they say on the tin. Really, really good sites full of thousands of fonts, thousands of designs. They range from free ones all the way up to quite pricey ones, uh, but they also have bundles as well. So you'll get bundles of fonts or bundles of images in a bundle at a reduced price. They also do dollar deals as well. So Black Friday, uh, special times throughout the year, they'll do dollar bundles, which are definitely worth looking for. They also offer a subscription service. There's three types of subscription services. Uh, they don't give you access to everything, but depending on which one you choose, they give you either 10 or 15% off your purchase price. Plus you get X amount of credits a month as well, which means you can use your credits to buy certain fonts or certain images. Again, definitely worth looking at. So we are back in Creative Fabrica and I've seen this gorgeous font here, Miracle, and I want to use it in Design Space. All I'm going to do is click on it. I'm going to select Download. I need to make sure that I am saving it to my computer. Now if I'm using an iOS or an Android, then I will need to use an app. There's some great font apps out there and they work in a similar way. For iOS, I definitely recommend any font. It is a paid app, it's a one-off payment, and you can use it all the time, and I do use it all the time. You want to make sure that you, as I say, save your font, and then you can open up the folder. With most fonts, you will be given two options in terms of the font file. There's open type and true type. The way I understand it is OpenType is a newer type of file and TrueType is the older type of file. 
open type goes across a lot more platforms and it also holds more glyphs so all the swirls and the beautiful characters the hearts the arrows all the extras you get from these beautiful fonts the open type font is able to hold more of these use both and to be honest i don't see a lot of difference with what i'm doing but if you were going to use any of them and you were given a choice i would definitely choose open type font just because it's the newer version you will need to double click it and then click install it's going to install and then once it's installed it will be grayed out I just want to say with installing your font, you are not installing it to Design Space. You are installing it to your computer, your laptop, your Android, your iOS, and it is only on that device. Design Space actually piggybacks into your computer or your device, and it will then use the fonts that are in the system. They're called system fonts you're not actually installing them into Design Space. So if you install a font to your laptop, that font will not be available on your iPhone unless you install it into your iPhone. What I quite like to do with my fonts is I create a font folder and once they're installed, I move them across to that folder. A, it keeps them all in one place and B, I know which ones I've installed. You then want to go into Design Space, you're going to pick font and we are actually going to search for our font that we downloaded. You'll see that Miracle is not actually there. The reason why is because I already had Design Space open. So Design Space can't actually acknowledge that I've added a new font into my system. So I need to refresh or close down Design Space so that it can then acknowledge that there is a new font on my computer. Once I've refreshed Design Space, I can then come back in and research and you'll see that your font is waiting for you please do come back for tomorrow's tutorial because I will be teaching you how you can add all these beautiful glyphs and characters and swirls and hearts, all these wonderful fonts you see. They don't come into design space like this. So I'm going to show you how you can actually make them the way that you see them when you purchase them. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.